Hi, it's Mike again, and I'm here at my newest listing, which is a Capitol Hill Victorian duplex built in 1903. Today we're going to talk about photography for real estate. I have um, Travis Peterson of TC Peterson Photography here. He is an architectural and real estate photographer. And photography is extremely important now than ever before when you are marketing uh, a home or an investment piece of property. Something that just changed this week with Northwest MLS is the number of photo uh, photographs that you can have online has gone from 15 to 25, which is really terrific. You can put 25 photographs of listings online for everyone to see. Now, does that mean that you always want to use 25 photos? Absolutely not. There are times when photos are going to detract from a home. This is a perfect example. This is an upstairs downstairs duplex and Travis has taken some great photos which you can see on my website of the upstairs unit which is vacant and we were do able to do a little bit of staging. The lower level is occupied by a tenant and you really cannot expect a tenant to be uh, the person to stage a home so it looks to its absolute best and looks good on camera. So we have no photographs of that lower unit online for people to see because all it would do is detract. I see many listings where there are photographs of messy, dirty, cl uh, cluttered basements, bathrooms that are filthy and have junk all over the shower and uh, the toilet lid all the way up and tiny little spaces. You know, if you have a photograph that makes a room or a home look bad, just don't use it. It's not a document. It is the photographs that you have online and in, a, in printed form. They're there to pique the interest of buyers and get people to come in to the property and see it. So it's important to choose a professional real estate photographer and not just any photographer. Um, there are, uh, there's a specialty to real estate photography and there's a talent that the artist really needs to have you don't want to use someone who is a specialist in portrait photography or landscape photography. That, those are different professions and there are, there are uh, techniques that need to be used to make uh, the inside of a home in particular look great. I take excellent exterior photos. I took beautiful exterior photos of this, this great Victorian home, but I don't have the skill for taking interiors with the proper lighting and to get the angles just right. You don't want to use a wide angle lens that's too wide because then you have fisheye effect and it turns everybody off. So I do hire a professional real estate photographer like Travis who knows what, uh, knows what he's doing. I have several that I use and Travis is, uh, has done a great job on this property and he's going to tell you a little bit about uh, his, his perspective. Thanks, Mike. Uh, just, just to reiterate, you know, uh, using a professional photographer uh, is, is key to listing a property. Uh, getting somebody in with a crisp, clean vision of, of the architectural space, getting the correct lines, uh, lighting is all, is all key to helping sell, sell your place. Uh, one thing that I find uh, helpful is capturing a space that allows uh, a buyer to to kind of envision themselves moving into that space or you know buying that home so uh, really important to to get a vision that's going to capture the right lighting the lines uh, get get down low enough to get the right angles uh, just expertise is is key to uh, residential photography so two of the things that Travis mentioned that are really important are lighting and getting the right angle. And those are things that really take someone who knows what he's doing to get it right. So thanks again. Uh, see you next time. If you want to check, uh, check uh, the latest on real estate information, be sure to like my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash michaelcornellre. And if you want to look at this listing online, go to my website, michaelcornell.com. And also like my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash Real Estate. And we will see you next time. Thanks.